Hi all, as all of you know that TCS recently conducted DCA Java exam for upgrading profile from Ninja to Digital. So guys, this exam was conducted on 14 June 2022. And guys, in this video, we are going to discuss the codes that they have asked. Actually, there were two codes and in those two codes, one code was easy and other was difficult. Okay. So guys, this video is for both freshers and those who have already given the exam. Freshers who are going to give the exam for the first time, they will get to know that which type of question in coding they are asking. And the person who has already given the exam, they will get to know the strategy that they need to follow to score more in the upcoming cycles. Okay. So guys, this is part one. In this part, I will discuss one question. In the upcoming parts, I will discuss different questions that they have asked in different slots of DCA Java. Okay. So guys, in this video, we will also discuss about the test cases because some people get afraid that how to write test cases. We will also discuss which data structure you need to follow and which type of code you should practice to get better score in the upcoming cycles. So guys, as I have already told you that there were two codes. One code was easy, okay? And the second code was difficult. Obviously, the code which was difficult was having more marks. Also, the second code that was lengthy, that was easy in some slots but the second code was difficult in some slots so it totally depends upon your luck let me discuss one easy question that they have asked you can see it here they are saying that you have to create a employee class okay they have four fields employee number employee name designation and date of joining okay these four fields you have to create and a class okay after that they are saying you to create a function called display details in which user will pass either employee number or field and there is an organization xyz in which we want to have an application which provides the details of a valid employee number let's suppose somebody put employee number 2 or xyz something then in that case you have to check that the field what is the field name if the field name is emp name then in that case you have to return the name of the employee if the field name is designation then in that case you have to return the designation so i think this code is easy because you have to do nothing you have to only use if and else loop if the field name is emp name then you have to return the employee name if the field name is designation you have to return the designation with the help of if and else loop you can do it easily within seconds okay one more thing was that they are asking you to create a test case you can see here you have to create a test case but at the same time they are also saying it's perfectly fine to have test cases with a certain failures or throwing runtime exceptions okay so they are not saying you to create a test case which passes all the conditions they are just saying to write a test case which implements your code functionality so what you have to do is you have to go to the youtube or google or if you can say i will also create one more video how to write ga unit test cases in java you have to use at the rate test annotation and inside that you have to write the test it is very easy and in the upcoming parts i will discuss different lengthy questions that they have asked this code was easy you might have done this but they have also asked one lengthy question and also there was one problem that they are asking you to complete these all codes and mcqs in one hour so i think this was unfair to you because they might have given you at least one and a half hour but still the code one was easy so you can do one code and 20 to 25 mcq then there is at least hope that you might get selected